KD is uh, he he's in a weird spot to where he he obviously doesn't want to play the villain, but has been kind of pigeonholed into this villain role. So Kevin Durant was pretty obviously fouled in the last play by Richard Jefferson. The officials the official report it's called the L2M report, the last two minute report was released yesterday. The last two-minute report details play-by-play play of what happens in the last two minutes of a game. The next day it comes out, and they're like, good call, bad call. So the Cavs took on the Warriors on Christmas Day. LeBron James had a ferocious dunk. He did multiple chin-ups on the rim, and he wasn't called for a technical foul. I don't know if I would have called a T, but if you're ever going to call a T for hanging on the rim, that's the one, right? And I'll give you kind of a little side note, a little side could he have broken the backboard? So here's just something to look at. The two design flaws in backboards that were broken were, one, they used to not have the stanchion right behind uh, the center of the backboard. It would, the, the, the points of pressure would be at the corner of the backboard, and then they just have the rim. Even though it was a breakaway rim, it would be a rim sitting by itself. So when you pull and snap down the rim, there'd be all that force just on the glass. So that has changed. Now you'll see all of these, whether it's the Hydra ribs or the Spaldings or, or whomever, the, the, everything is right behind the hoop. So that's where the pressure is, right behind the rim. And it also sometimes goes out to the four corners. The second part is that the rim actually doesn't connect as much to the backboard as much as all the way through to the stanchion. But anyway, they could have called goaltending. They didn't. They should have called a foul when Richard Jefferson tripped uh, Kevin Durant. And there were people that, well, it's an accidental trip. Like, it doesn't matter if it's an accidental trip. It's still a foul. He, he tripped him, stepped on his foot, whatever. That, like, that's a foul. So because of that foul, like, the Warriors are saying, hey, should have had a chance to have Kevin Durant have a shot 12 feet from the basket to win the game. Kevin Durant said this earlier today, quote, the refs didn't lose us the game. We lost the game. I think that's BS that the NBA throws refs under the bus like that. This happened to be in our favor, not even in our favor. We don't get the win, but, uh, but to say I got fouled and the technical on LeBron, just move on. Don't throw the refs under the bus like that. Now the next game, the group of refs, whoever it is, they're just going to come out and intentionally ref the game, try and get everything right, perfect, uh, without just going out there, relaxing and trying to make the right call. You can't find us when we go out there and criticize them and then throw them under the bus for the last two-minute report. What about the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter? I think that's BS. They should just get rid of them. Refs don't deserve that. They're trying their hardest to get it right, then you look at the play in super slow-mo and say it's wrong. I think it's BS they do that, full of S, uh, that you throw the refs under the bus like that after the game. Like it matters, game's over, we move on. Do you think he's doing this to get calls? Honestly, what do you think? I think that's how he feels, but I also think that some of this is, um, it's, it's like coaches being critical of players you don't want to be critical of players to the media outside the locker room. That, that, that's kind of a, that, that's a, it, it's a very much a team view and an athlete view. Not one that I agree with, by the way. See, my view of it is, I, I don't mind if the refs, they're wrong. Like, it's okay. Like, hey, I missed one. It happened really fast. I missed it. It, to air is human. So I'm not bothered when they go through the L2M report. The problem is, that what Durant is saying is accurate from the perspective of the the average civilian fan who's like, well, the refs screwed this thing up. They had it in for us. They wanted the Cavs to win. Or they just happened to screw up plays that just happened to favor the Cavs. Because they did tee, they did tee up Richard Jefferson for winking. Like, was that really necessary? And they only gave one T to um, Draymond Green when twice he got a foul called on him and he took a lap around the court. So I understand what he's saying. I think the refs are big boys. I think most athletes are big boys. You want to be critical of them, say they made mistakes. That's fine. Everybody makes mistakes. 
But I think where he has a point is, like, look, you're making these guys look bad. And to the average fan who doesn't understand just how fast it is, and how hard it is to do your job, it's throwing them under the bus. And it, it makes them look uh, like they want one team or another to win. Or it makes them look like they're bad at their job when they're not. It's just a really hard job.